In today's video, we will discuss the 10 scariest horror movies on YouTube. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. At number 10 we have, The Mimic, released in 2018, is about a family who moves to a secluded house near MD. Jackson, where they encounter a mysterious girl who can mimic the voice of their missing son. The girl is actually the daughter of a shaman who served a malevolent spirit called the Jensen Tiger, which lures people into the woods by imitating the voices of their loved ones. The family soon realizes that the girl and the spirit are connected, and they have to face the horror of the Jensen Tiger before it consumes them. Patient 7 At number 9 we have Patient 7, released in 2016. The movie is about a psychiatrist who interviews six mentally ill patients at an asylum, only to discover that he is the seventh patient who suffers from delusions. Each patient's story is a different horror segment, involving zombies, vampires, ghosts, and demons. The psychiatrist realizes that he is actually a murderer who killed his family and the staff of the asylum, and he escapes to continue his killing spree. Zombie Apocalypse Redemption no! At number 8 we have Zombie Apocalypse Redemption, released in 2011 is about a world where zombies outnumber humans 10,000 to 1. This story follows John Knox, a rugged wanderer who is saved by a ragtag group of survivors led by a man named Moses. After initial suspicion, Knox proves his worth and slips into his new family in the wasteland. However, one day a war party of maniacal raiders assaults the camp, Killing or kidnapping everybody in sight. Krampus, the devil returns. At number 7, we have Krampus, the devil returns, released in 2016, is about a town terrorized by Krampus, a Christmas demon punishing disobedient children, five years after his wife's murder and his daughter's disappearance. Former police officer Jeremy Diffin is brought back to help hunt this Yuletide monster. Unable to solve the onslaught of missing children, police officers Dave Kane and Paul Sharp plore Diffin out of his self-imposed exile. Hey, you scumbag, motherfucker! Ah! You no, know they have one in the pipe. Well, Rick, I didn't! The quest to find Krampus and the children is further complicated by run-ins with a tough guy Stuart and his gang, along with a nasty Santa Claus. The evil down the street. Tend to be going through my personal belongings. At number six we have The Evil Down the Street, released in 2019. The movie is about the Ryan family who move into their dream home, unaware of its demonic possession. Shortly after their arrival, strange events begin to occur, leading to the mother, Katie, being possessed by a demonic spirit. This possession forces her to terrorize her own family. About demons. You know who's inside me, preacher boy. Have you heard of Deliverance Ministry? The film explores the family's struggle with these paranormal events and their fight against the evil that resides in their home 3. This horror thriller is inspired by true events. Hell House LLC At number 5 we have Hell House LLC, released in 2015 is about a group of haunted house creators who set up their attraction in an abandoned hotel, unaware that it is the site of a satanic cult. 
On the opening night, they and their guests are attacked by supernatural forces and 15 people die. Hold it. Godspeed. Hey man, how many freaks did we have? Five years later, a documentary crew investigates the tragedy and uncovers the horrifying truth. The Corrupted At number 4 we have The Corrupted, released in 2010, is about a group of friends who go to a lakeside cabin for a weekend of fun, but encounter a series of bizarre and terrifying events. One of them, Jeremy, is infected by a mysterious woman who whispers something in his ear and leads him into the lake. Singing. The others soon discover that the lake is contaminated by a parasitic organism that turns people into violent and mutated creatures. They must fight for their survival and find a way to escape the corrupted. Halloween age 20s 20 years later. At number 3 we have Halloween H20, released in 1998, is about Lori Strode, who faked her death to escape from her brother, Michael Myers, the masked killer who terrorized her 20 years ago. She now lives as Carrie Tate, the headmistress of a private school in California, where her son John studies. On Halloween night, Michael tracks her down and attacks the school, killing several students and staff. Lori decides to face Michael once and for all, in a final showdown that will end the nightmare. The Legend of Jack and Jill Jack and Jill At number 2 we have The Legend of Jack and Jill, released in 2021 is about a horror retelling of the nursery rhyme Jack and Jill 1. A group of friends, grieving a recent loss, meet up with one another only to discover they are being hunted by Jack and Jill. This chilling tale takes a familiar childhood story and turns it into a nightmare as the friends find themselves in a fight for survival against the vengeful spirits of Jack and Jill. The movie delves into the terror and desperation experienced by the group as they try to escape the relentless pursuit of these hunting figures. The Taking of Deborah Logan At number one we have The Taking of Deborah Logan. The Taking of Deborah Logan is a found footage horror film directed by Adam Robitel. The story takes place in Virginia and follows a documentary crew documenting the effects of Alzheimer's disease. Deborah Logan, an Alzheimer's patient, becomes the focus of their project, with the crew capturing her day-to-day -day life. However, as the film progresses, eerie and unexplainable events begin to occur, raising suspicions among the crew, especially cameraman Luis. The movie builds tension through supernatural occurrences, leading to a shocking climax that shouldn't be spoiled. The film stands out with its compelling plot, and fans of found footage films will appreciate its contributions to the genre. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.